Time to have a post-practice seat brought to us by TS Tech. We continue with Bobcat Basketball 2020-2021. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Joined by my guy, London McDay. Lundo, how are you, man? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, all <laughs> freshman team member last year. Um, yeah. That was your first year of MAC play. You're a sophomore. So what did you learn from playing in MAC play last year that you'll bring into the second season of Mid American Conference basketball for you? Well, it's very intense. Like the, it, it picks up. It's like a different level, and then you just want to win every game because you want to, you know, get a good seed. And it's just, it's just, it's just very intense. And you got to just be focused the whole time. Every game, every game matters. You are four and two to start off the season. Your ball club is going to be right there in the thick of things. And you take on the Akron Zips to start. Last year, what was it like playing against your hometown team a couple of times? It was very fun. And this game is, is going to be intense because we owe them one. I mean, they beat us two times. And at, at their place, they, 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 they got a 15-point comeback. So this one, it will be a very fun game. And it's very exciting going back home. Yeah, and, and you were slated to play them in the Mid-American Conference Tournament. Yes. Obviously, that didn't happen. I liked your chances in that game. I like your chances coming up on Tuesday, too. When was the last time you were actually at home? Uh, last time I actually went down in October, I went home. So it's been a little while, but I just can't wait to go back. Yeah, I bet. And, and all of this dealing with classes and practice and the testing and the bubble and yeah. all of it. What has this whole experience been like from your perspective? Uh, it's taught me patience, honestly, because I just got to be patient with all the, the, the online homework, all this testing. Like, the testing gets really annoying, like the COVID testing. But it just, it just teaches me just to calm down, relax, and just, just go with the flow. You've let the hair go a little yeah. bit, too. What, what's the thought process there? Uh, I, I, just like, I just like my hair, and I just wanted to grow it back, so... Once I got it twisted, I was like, I'm going to just let these lock and just let it just go. Was Ben Vanderplas letting his hair go a little bit of a, yeah, a role model for you? Uh, no, actually. It was just on my own for wishes. So. But he just <laughs> cut his recently. So. Yeah, that, yeah. so we'll, we'll see him with that cut coming up on Tuesday against Akron. Um, your name is spelled how? How do you spell your first name? Uh, it's a little unorthodox. So it's L-U-N-D-E-N. And your your mother's name is is L O N D O N. So it's it's London too, but it's spelled the right way. Did she <laughs> did she talk to you about um, having that same name? What what was it about the name London and her name and and the spelling of yours uh, that brought about your name? It's it's pretty unique, pretty cool. Yeah. So well, on my dad's side, there's a lot of Davids. So she was like, "Your this son is not going to be David again." So she. She let me get her name, so that's how it came about. I don't know how the spelling, I don't know what she did there, but she just was creative, I guess. Yeah, creative, really <laughs> fun and really cool and, and a good history to it as well and the link between you and your mother, who is obviously very active on social media. She's a huge fan of yours, as you know, and she listens to our broadcast too. You, you uh, pride yourself on doing the McDirty work. <laughs> this year, you, you've added... At the end of last year, more scoring to your game. And you're scoring this year. You're in double figures in three of the six games that you played. How have you intertwined those two parts of your game? Well, the coaches just tell me just – honestly, over the summer, I've been trying to work on just being comfortable in the game, like just slowing down, really reading the floor. So, honestly, just getting more comfortable with the game. So, that's been helping me with the scoring. So, just, just being – just having pace and just – seeing the floor and just slowing the game down. We talk about the, the in vogue term is positionless basketball. And you hear that a lot. You're, you're an NBA fan. You watch NBA games. And, and, and generally, that's bigs stepping out beyond the three-point line and acting a little bit more like a guard. But, but I look at you and, and what you do on the floor is doing whatever it takes to win. In right. practice, you lead in taking charges. Uh, you're on the floor constantly. That's that's what you do in doing the the dirty work, the McDirty right. work. Do you fancy yourself as as a positionless guard as well in, in that same sort of vein? Yeah, I guess you can say that. I just want to do whatever I can and win, whether it's scoring, defense, just making the hustle plays. It doesn't matter. I just want to win. The next step for you, obviously, the success that you have helps your team have success as well. Last year, you were uh, an all-freshman team member and very well-deserved 
uh, in that regard. What's the next step for you in your game? Where do you see yourself developing as a sophomore? Honestly, I just want to work on everything, just scoring, being a better defender, just being a leader, honestly. So being a leader, that's one of the things I want to just increase on. The, the schedule makers uh, did you a bit of a favor, too, because you get that easy ride back. You don't have to come back to Athens. Yeah, I'm going you just home. You, yeah, you stick back in Akron uh, for the holidays. Are you excited? Yes, sir. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Well, London, thank you so much for the visit. As always, it's brought to us by TS Tech. Really enjoyed it. Good luck against the Akron Zips and happy holidays. Thank you, Russ. I see you. That's London McDay. I'm Russ Eisenstein, and this is Bobcat TV.